Welcome beautiful people to yet another video about property market in Portugal. Today we are talking extreme budgets because I received a lot of comments and messages about how much more you can buy with your money in other parts of Portugal. I decided that for today I will explore other parts of Portugal than Algarve. So I searched incredible low priced properties and the first time I thought to search for houses below 15,000 euros but then I found such low prices in property that I decided to go extreme. I even found prices between 3,000 euros and 10,000 euros but those properties were run down, were ruins, you cannot live in them so I started to look at properties that you can live in it while remodel it because everyone who buys a property in Portugal in that price range I thought that they want to live in it and in this video you will find properties between 10,000 euros and 25,000 euros because starting from that price point you can actually live in the house while you are renovating it. First of all, and I cannot believe I'm telling you this and I cannot believe this is true, that you should be aware that not all houses have habitation license. So some buildings in this price range don't have a habitation license because they were transformed without the proper documentation from uh, buildings where the animal lived in buildings for people but the owners didn't bother to go to Freguesia or Conselho and get the proper license for humans to live there and now a lot of them they are selling these houses as human houses to live in so before you are buying a rundown property you should be sure that you have a habitation license and to be sure you have a habitation license the first document you should ask is Caderneta Predial. This document will tell you about the building, all that you need to know about the previous owners, about uh, if you can live in it or not. So just be sure to check all the papers in advance and about checking the papers in advance. When you are buying in such a low budget, you should really have a lawyer. You, you should always have a lawyer check the documents, but in such a low budget, it will be understandable that you will run in some. You should always have a lawyer checking out the papers, but when you are buying in such a low budget, it should be natural that you encounter more problems than people who are buying in um, more higher budgets. So make sure you are having the proper lawyer who is requesting all the documents and be sure that everything is in order with your documents. Other concerns people would have, I would have if I were to buy a property in such a low budget, I think it would be the structure of the house. When you are buying a house that is so cheap, you really should have an inspection on that house to know if the structure doesn't need consolidation or if the roof doesn't need a whole replacement which will put your property in a much higher budget than you the money you are spending on the initial buy. So everything else that is cosmetic in the house, even removing walls and, or putting walls, they are considering things that are somehow cosmetic. But if you should be in the position to enforce the actual structure or to remove the whole roof and repair that, this would be a higher cost. Another thing that would greatly unsettle me buying such a cheap house would be that those houses don't have the basic amenities, like they don't have electricity, they don't have the proper plumbing, and sometimes they don't even have the actual toilet in the house. So take into consideration that if you have to install uh, the toilet or 
have some plumbing works because making the plumbing from scratch and even the electricity from scratch can add up to the cost of the house. It's very expensive and time consuming to starting to do that in a house. Another big concern for me would be the cost of the manual labor. So let's say that for the actual materials, you can check online how much would that cost. But for the manual labor, it's not that you have to get several offers from several firms, but if this house is remote, like you would uh, see in the video that all these houses are remote in the rural parts of Portugal, you, I think you would have a hard time finding a firm to work in your area. And if you are finding just one firm to work for you in that remote area, some uh, of the workers can get sick or some of the workers can uh, resign. You will always have the concern that that special team that you found would not complete the works or if the works were to be completed it would take a long period of time it's not like you are buying an apartment in a big city where you have several offers several firm and if someone doesn't want to work for you you can always find someone else so now let's take a look at these properties they all are in rural parts of portugal i don't know anything about these areas i just looked based on the price and if I saw a cheap house who um, appealed to me in some way, I just put it down on the list. So uh, these are very remote areas, not very touristy areas, but this is what you ask for. Property in rural Portugal with the authentic feel of Portugal and I guess there are a lot of people who are coming to Portugal exactly for that. The first property on the list is uh, below $10,000, it's $9,000 and it's the one that I've been uh, telling you about that has uh, the fallen roof. So this would be a concern for me because you have to really know what you are doing to repair this. You have to be more than a handyman to handle this and if you are hiring someone this probably would cost a lot and if it's not a proper firm firm you are hiring probably you should expect delays from the people you are hiring by day and the trouble with those ads is that they uh, are putting so little pictures because really it's nothing to to photograph they don't have anything to show you but they could have showed the interior of the house and they didn't let's um see what the ad says it says that it's a rustic house and it has to be totally reconstructed and that the lot the land is approximately 200 square meters and it says that uh, the and it says that the house it's a uh, partial demolated if you want to see where this uh, place is covao do feta the feto Covao do Feto, not really center of Portugal, but here in Parque Nacional de Serras, so it's more in the north of Portugal. This is the only house that I could find that is not completely demolished, a ruin, uh, below 10,000 euros. But uh, they say in the ad that they consider this to be a ruin and the house is partially demolated. So below 10,000 euros... I don't think, I didn't find anything to have the walls and the roof okay to begin with. A house that it's uh, standalone and it's in good condition, I mean you don't have to redo the roof I think and the, the walls, the house it's standing on its two feet and it's uh, right 10,000 euros. It's this. It was practically the first house that I saw in good condition to, to actually live in it while you are reconstructed, while you are renovated. I liked the fact that it's a T3, so this means three bedrooms, even if it's a little on the small side. It's a house that has two floors, so I think it's very well compartimented. This would be the dining room. I like 
those doors you can do something nice with it well this where the things get complicated when you have a kitchen like that you have to remodel the entire kitchen and you have to see if the pipes are in good condition and you ha have to see how you are going to cook here this is the bathroom also you have to see if the bathroom can be used and this is only cosmetic because if you put your mind to it you can even uh, uh, take the job yourself to put uh, the tiles but you have to be a little bit handy if you have to change the the actual plumbing in this house but the house really looks habitable i mean in this price if you are not very pretentious you can actually live here i guess and you can renovate it while you are living here after you <laughs> make a little bit of cleaning and i think this is the outdoor area kind of small it says here that uh, the village is very calm quiet i think they want to say quiet this uh, place it's called castellejo castellejo and it's 11 kilometers away from fundao i guess fundao it's a larger town and 50 kilometers da serra da estrella so you are here close to Castellejo. This is Serra da Estrella. It's kind of central, no? And also, I would say that it's uh, close to Coimbra. I don't know. Coimbra, nice town. Hope to visit someday. And also, you have in the proximity Castelo Branco. So all those places are really rural in this budget. Based on everything that I saw, this house looks good in this budget. Also at 10,000 euros, we have this. Also, I was very impressed of this, this house because um, it has, it's constructed. I mean, you don't have to put up walls and a roof and you only have to renovate the inside and maybe paint the outside. I guess in this budget, the main concern would be if the roof is in good shape and the walls are in good shape because in this budget you cannot expect for more. It has 150 square meters of construction, which is a lot, but it says that here that it's a T0. I don't understand how it can be a only one room in 150 square meters. It says that it doesn't have a bathroom, but I think it has a nice yard. Let's see the photos. And this is the house, the house from other side. Well, look here, this would indicate that the roof is not in such a good shape. When you buy something like that, I think you would have to investigate that. But I guess someone who buys this is looking for a property that is really cheap and has the budget to renovate with a proper construction firm or it's someone who hasn't uh, have the money at all and barely has the cost of the house and the plans to renovate it but the person who buys this house it has the experience experience to renovate it so maybe the person who invests in this is not as scary as me looking and at this wall or this right over here i don't know again you don't have the pictures from inside the house which is not cool when you advertise a house. Let's see where this is. In a rural area close to Gaspala, Gas Gaspala, and you have a river nearby. It seems that you are not really in the middle of nowhere. You have a church here and a little town here, Alvato. So for someone who actually looks to live quietly in the country, these are the type of, of properties that, that are interested in. The next house, also 10,000 euros budget, looks a little bit more like what I am used to see, a proper house with, uh, <laughs> with furniture and not something to be demolished. It says that it has T2, it's in Vichel and has a um, plot of land of 40 square meters, it's not much, but it has land, it has a bathroom, it has a cozinha, which is the kitchen, and two quartos, two rooms. Let's see the pictures. 
So the tiles look good in the kitchen. I will change the windows because it has to be very cold with this type of windows. And here you have to renovate, like you have to put uh, tiles or, ha or wooden floors. But my, my main concern here would be again the roof, if the roof is in good condition, because these walls can be painted, can be, I don't know, you can put something like a wallpaper. I mean, this can look good at the end, but it's not so, so very scary. But if you don't have the structure in good condition, that would be a concern. And the bathroom looks good. I mean, you can work with this. See what I, I'm telling you about this roof would be a concern for me. And also the structure you see here. This indicates that the structure has a little bit of problems. And that's it. That's all you get with this type of property. So you really have to go and see how the house looks also a rural area in the middle of Portugal here close to Vichel. This house is 12,000 euros and why I liked this house besides of the fact that it's not a ruin it's of course the land. I mean this looks very picturesque, this looks very calm and quiet and frankly I would want to live in a place that looks like this. I really would if I would have all the amenities, you know me, high maintenance, but this looks like a place I want to live, not just visit. Very bucolic type of place. And the house from these pictures looks nice. The first thing that comes to my mind when I see this picture is that uh, it's a hazard because it's at the intersection of two roads and maybe if a car uh, passes by, they can have an accident and ride into these walls. But again, how many cars are going to pass in this area? So you see, you have to really have a mindset to be in this place, which I don't and I'm sure that I don't fully understand the life in these places. And it's normal because I never lived a life in one of these places. I don't know if this is only cosmetic or you have to consolidate, but I like the windows. I really don't like the houses with the tiny, tiny windows because you don't get much light. Oh my god. I like that this is a fireplace, but I don't know if it can be used. I don't know if this roof has to be redone, but if it's only a matter of putting some regips or um, cos do some cosmetic work in order to, to look better, it would not be a problem. Let's see the ad. It says that the house has uh, 70 square meters and I think the land has 100 square meters. It's 20 minutes distance from Castelo Branco. So I guess this means has a good position. It says that it's in good shape, but a little old, constructed in, in 1935. I guess this is the area. This is the area here. Oh, and this is Castelo Branco. What you can get at 50,000 euros, it's a standalone house with a lot of land of uh, 124 square meters. It says that a, a part of the house was reconstructed. It says that if you want more information and photographs to contact uh, directly, I don't understand why they don't put the photographs here. I understand that the location of the, this house, it's named Povoa, Povoa e Medeas. And they uh, go on and talk about this place, Povoa e Medeas. Uh, it says that it has a junta de, junta de freguesia. It has a um, posto medico, which means you have a doctor here, you have a school. Uh, they uh, try to tell you that you are in a place where you are, you are not going to get bored because they have uh, some kind of um, musical club, football club. You have an Iglesia Matriz, of course, a, a chapel, a museum, four cafes. So even the taxi comes here, supermercado. So they say that this is a really nice 
area let's see the photos this would be the house i mean this is a part of the house and this is the other part of the house i think one of that was reconstructed remodeled reinforced and the other one no lado esquero which means the left side with the lado novo i think uh, the lado means roof i don't know correct me if i'm wrong and this is the right side with the three uh, rooms well it has electricity which is a good thing the roof was remade look at this roof you can really tell that it's new and this is important and uh, here they say that has the installation f to install a washing machine the bathroom looks usable so all in all again a house that you can um, stay while you remodel this is interesting because you see uh, with only 5000 euros uh, added to your budget you can go from something that it's a complete ruin you have to demolish to something that you can actually remodel yourself so stick around to the end of this uh, video to see if you add on top of 50,000 euros another 5,000 euros and you get in the bracket of 20,000 euros, you'll see what a jump in quality. So in this uh, kind of this bracket of budget, you can, uh, if you add just a few thousand euros, you can get a lot of quality, which cannot apply when you are buying a house of 200,000 euros. You can put 10,000 euros um, on top of your initial budget and you get exactly squat. So I'm really impressed that in those small budgets, you can add very little and you can get a lot for your money. Another house at 50,000 euros is in Distrito de Vicheo, in Consello de Castro da de Dare. It has a kitchen, a bathroom, a veranda, and it says that it's perfect if you want to escape the big city. The house from the outside looks very nice. This would be the kitchen. This looks to me like an improvisation and you have to be uh, mindful if these improvisation are legal and I'm not talking from the I don't know legal point of view that you shouldn't broke the law but you should see if those improvisations are safe to live with because the safety is the most important of course you have to follow the law but you have to follow the law because, because the law in this case keeps you safe this is the bathroom looks nice I mean usable this for me looks dangerous I really I'm really afraid to have this in a house because I don't know how to use it. I like these wooden floors. I mean, I really like, I, I would put this in my home and also it looks new. And of course the main appeal is the view. Look at this view. It looks so peaceful and quiet and it's really the main reason why someone uh, would um, move here apart from the budget. This looks small, but good. And I like this veranda. I mean, this this is the outdoor area where you can drink your coffee in the morning and look at this amazing view. For someone like me, the point sellers of this house would be these wooden floors and this view. And let's see where this is situated. Well, here, let's see where here means. Cuelvo de Paiva. And it seems that you are somewhere where is a church it means a little community maybe i mean it's not really only your house you can have you have neighbors a lot of neighbors there are a lot of houses here so you are not going to feel uh, isolated and right smack in the center of portugal moving on to sixty hundred thousand euros this is something more new this is a house that you can um, move so doesn't have the foundation in excellent condition it has all that you need it has gas or the installation to have gas appliances and also an electric stove it has three rooms one bathroom it has a um, double size
all the setbacks in life uh, are because you don't have the proper mindset to meet the challenges. And for me, it's clear that I don't have the mindset to live in this kind of uh, house, although it looks good. Look, you have all that you need. Maybe the bathroom is a little tiny, but you have the wooden floors and the windows and it's clean. Someone can have a really good life here. And look at this view. I mean, imagine yourself sitting here drinking coffee in the morning. You really have all that you need. I am really curious how much you have to pay in rent for the right to put the house on this land. Moving on, here at 70,000 euros, look what you can get. It's a standalone house, a big house, a, a 123 square meters, a lot of rooms, a T5, and it's also in Tomar Conselho. It has three bathrooms, and if you gostaria saber mais, you have to <laughs> ring them if you want to know more. If you want to know more, you have to contact them, and of course to make a visit. Says here, faça una visita sem compromisso, meaning uh, that if you see the house, if you visit the house, you don't commit to anything. Of course you don't commit to anything. Well, I really like this house. It looks, I don't know, it looks like a castle from here. And look at, at the inside, you can really work with it. I like the windows, I like the floors, I like the rooms, the bathroom is okay. Here you can have a, an amazing terrace. Look at this view. What I don't like is that it's really on the street and here you have a national road, a road that um, is circulated but by a lot of cars and maybe you have um, a lot of noise here. But the house in itself, I like very much. It looks like a palace. It's a lot of house for 70,000 euros. And it's not really in such a bad shape. So you, if you compare this with the ones that you paid 12,000 euros, and uh, you can clearly see the quality here. That is the area. I think this is where the house is, near Tomar, in the center of Portugal. Moving on, 19,000 euros, a big yard, you can uh, grow vegetables, and that is the house. I like the interior, they started redecorating, they put, uh, they remodeled the walls, they look very good, I think they uh, repaired the roof, it really looks very good, so it's clean and nice, they, they redo the floors, they have electricity, I like the door, they started to remodel it and you can really pick up on their work and add from here. But I think the house is tiny, it's only 85 square meters, so it's a little tiny. But on the outside of the house, it looks good, I like it, and I like the yard. Let's see the ad, what they say about the house. It says that it's in the area of Alentejo, has ex exterior space, that yard. You can uh, recharge your batteries here at fin de semana. I mean, they are suggesting that uh, this could be for you a second home where you can uh, go in the country and recharge yourself. It says that it's a T1. Yes, I thought so. It, it really looks tiny, but really in Portugal you live outside. But if you have a big family, this is not for you. It has a charming uh, kitchen, typical Alentejana, for the ones who want the real feel of uh, Alentejo and uh, Portugal. This is the house for them. They say that in this ad. And says that the, the bathroom, you can make a bathroom in, in an annex that has 25 square meters, which is located close to the house. Well, this might be a change because the casa de baño, the bathroom, it's not actually in the house. Here, I think you are paying this money because it's in an Alentejo, because of the yard, because it's not in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's, an, it, it's in a village, Sao Domingo de Santa Laura, and because the house is remodeled. I mean, they remodeled this and they are charging money because 
if this wasn't remodeled, it would have been more in the bracket of 10,000 euros. And here we are starting to see something really nice, nice houses in the budget of 20,000 euros. You have this house, which is in a village, Macau, and it's a really nice home. Two floors, really nice village. I really like this really remodeled you can really move here and live you don't have to uh, make anything if you are not uh, really pretentious you see you just uh, put your furniture and you can just start living maybe you have to do some remodeling here in the kitchen it really looks good i mean i like the windows i like that they are yellow you have even janelas i mean this here which can uh, keep the noise from the street hardwood floors really nice i really like this house and if you want to see the areas let's see Mas Ma macao i don't know if this is pronouncing macao or masao because i saw this uh, written in pastelarias you have masa masa means apple and you have masa tarts apple tarts and somebody told me in a pastelaria that you have to pronounce it masa maybe this also pronoun it's pronounced masao i don't know but masao or macao <laughs> it's a really nice village from the pictures here i think this is a really nice place to live for someone who wants uh, the authentic feel a uh, really portuguese town this is nice in the bracket of 25,000 euros, this standalone house with its own yard looks nice. It has three bedrooms and one bathroom, a lot of square meters, 120 square meters. I like this stone wall. The interior is nice, it has a fireplace. I assume that it's usable. The windows are okay. I don't think you have to change that. I think you have to change this, Janelas. Have to redone this floor, but I wouldn't uh, take it out completely. I would try to work with what I have here because this is really nice flooring and maybe just replace the bits that are broken. Here you have concrete, so you have to put something. But all in all, the space is big and it looks great. I don't know if you have to redo this, but I think it's new and the view is nice. This looks like it has to be redone completely. So you have a lot of work here. I like this space. When I look at this picture, I imagine someone who wants to do here like a studio or an atelier or maybe someone who wants to repair things for other people. Maybe they want to repair cars or maybe they want to do something with their hands, working on wood. And this is a perfect place for that. So this could be turned into a business. I don't know if this house is worth this kind of money, but I think it's about the area and the fact that the house is big. I don't know, here you really have to know if this area it's worth the money because it's close at the edge of Park uh, de Strada Estrella I think this area it's a little expensive look you have here hospital I don't really know how uh, much would take you to reach this hospital but I can tell that this is a slightly more expensive area also in the budget of 21,000 euros, you have this house, I like this, it has this annex, you can also make here a workshop. I mean, when you are living in the country, I think you have to have a hobby and you can turn that hobby into a business. I would do that if I were to move in the country. What I like about this area, look how it looks, how green it looks and how wonderful it looks. But the house is really run down. The house is that and it comes in the price with this lot of land. So I guess even if the house it needs a lot of work, look at this, a lot of work. 
you would pay for the area and you'd pay for the land. It has a new roof, so the you don't have to replace the roof. It says here that it's overlooking uh, the river in a quiet area in near Miranda do Corvo. For this budget, it really n doesn't look so great. I mean, it doesn't have windows and the interior has to be remodeled completely. You cannot live here while you are remodeling this. I don't know what is with this price. It looks expensive to me, this house. In the bracket of 24,000 euros, we have this house, which is completely remodeled, so you don't have to do anything. You have to just move in. If you, <laughs> you can change a little bit of uh, the remodels if you don't like. I really don't like this wall. But uh, you can leave, it's ready to move. I like this house because it's this house. Because it's in, the, in a village, it's a two-story house. And I like how the village looks. I guess we are talking about this house here. And they put a, a picture to see that you are in a village where you have cafe, you have a pharmacia, you have a supermarket and you have all the amenities. This is what they want to show you here. Not a lot of pictures from the house again. It says that it's one story house and it has a kitchen, one room, it has a bathroom. And let's see where this is. A Bruneira. Here somewhere. So more in the north. Also uh, in this budget you can have this wonderful house. I really like this picture. Look at how this looks. It's so pittoresque. This village. This is the house. Look at this courtyard. I mean... You would think that you are in the UK. It looks really nice. Not that Portugal doesn't look nice, but it, re it looks really nice. Those houses, look at this. A tiny little village. I think it's very quiet and the life here is very peaceful. This is the house we are talking about. And this looks like if you have some problems in life, you can come here and all, everything will go away. This is what this picture is telling me, but I know that it's not true. But maybe if you are in need of some peace and quiet, a place, a quiet place where you calm down and you need to take some decision and to change your life, this would look like the picture perfect house for you. Look at this view. I really like this green. And this is the house. I like these stairs because it's from wood and I like this kitchen, it's wood also. And you can cook here and look out the window and you have this amazing tree here. Maybe I'm trying to make a story of everything, but this is what those pictures are speaking to me. So this is what 10,000 euros up to 25,000 euros can buy you in rural Portugal. What did you think about this and if you compare it to your country, do you think you can get good value for your money in Portugal? This is the, the conversation and this is the question I want you to think about and leave it in the comments. And until next time, please be safe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!